What's going on, everyone? We're gonna cover a very special topic today. We're gonna to be covering bait finesse, some of the new and exciting stuff that's coming out from iCast this year. Now, yes, Jeff and I could probably do this, but I guarantee you, we would mess it up. We would miss something important. We would not do it justice. So yes. we brought it, <laughs> that's Jeff agreeing with me being mad about myself. But seriously, we brought in some folks who actually know what they're talking about. This is the Bait Finesse Empire. I'm gonna call them the team, but it's the folks from Bait Finesse Empire who we've been talking to recently, and they really know what they're talking about. So we're gonna do quick introductions, and then we're gonna do is we're gonna have them show you what they're most excited about coming out new from this year at iCast. So I'm gonna start with Amir. Howdy, y'all. My name is Amir. I am the founder and owner of Bait Finesse Empire. Um, just a fanatic for the sport, and my goal is to spread it to all of you. I am Jimmy Lee, raw fishing, content creator, and uh, well, Bay Finesse fanatic. I'm all about the Bay Finesse reels and uh, Bay Finesse rods and lures, and I'm here to iCast to, uh, of course, meet these cool folks here, but also explore what's gonna be on the hot on the market this year. I'm the Hunter Fisher, uh, otherwise known as Hunter No Day. I do a lot of uh, just bass, bait finesse. I live here in Florida. I do a lot of saltwater finesse, bait finesse stuff just because it's a lot of fun catching big fish on little gear. So we're gonna roll over to the first booth. I don't even know where we're going. I'm gonna find out right now. So we're checking out the new Mojo Bass St. Croix rods, and they got two models that fit the bait, bait finesse niche. They're both medium light rods. Um, from a bait finesse perspective, I think these rods are gonna be killer because they do they do a couple things for, for the US market. Um, first of all, compared to what a lot of the other US companies have put out so far, these, guns, these, these rods definitely seem to have a little bit more backbone and a little bit higher casting weight. They're 1 8 up to 7 16, right? Um, some people would call that power finesse or power bait finesse, but it really, I think it just fills the bass niche really well. Mojo Bass obviously is a rod catered towards the, the avid bass angler, the enthusiast level bass angler that may not have the highest budget, um, but they want a rod that can cast bait finesse lures that you use for bass fishing. You've got your, you know, your jigs, your Texas rigs, your wacky worms, all that kind of stuff. They have a rod that's going to do that for them. The other rod, we don't have my hand here, but I believe it's a 610 medium light, but it's a moderate fast action. So we're looking more at a treble hook rod for, for casting your eight ounce crankbaits up to probably quarter ounce, ounce crankbaits. Or anything where uh, if you're using maybe lighter line and you just need more bend in the rod to, to protect that line, this one's probably gonna do really well for you. The other thing I like about these rods is the price point. Um, Mojo Bass, I believe they come in at 125, 130. Yeah. 125 to 130. And so these, to the best of my knowledge, are really going to be the best uh, entry level American branded bait finesse rods so far on the market, right? At, at that price, price point, they're going to be really hard. Cash, cash is at like 200, 220, I think, for their, the one I just got. Absolutely. And the Dobbins are 190. And by all means, they fit those price oh. points, but not everyone can necessarily throw that kind of money down for their first state finesse rod. So these are, these are going to be, I think, a, a game changer that really just opens up the market to a much bigger audience in the US, which is uh, what Bay Finesse Empire is all about. You know, every single model of St. Croix gets redone at least once every five years. So what they did is they created a, a proprietary reel handle called Trigon. And what Trigon is, is it's shaped like a tri well, like a triangle. What that does is there's no slippage in your hand anymore. No matter what your technique is, everything's about control, having full control of something. And how many times do you set the hook or something, or you're reeling a fish and your hand slips off of it, or the, or the rod tries to rotate on you. What that does is that gives you that extra grip in order to, uh, so you have more control. Got it. And then on the spinning reel, it looks like you guys have the yep. uh, screw down here at the bottom. So you're getting all the grip here at the exactly. top, right? Exactly. Um, so you're getting that, that balance point too. I can even feel it. It's way more, it's a little bit more forward. So you get a nice amount of control here with a spinning setup it's incredibly too. Incredibly stable. And like, again, it's all about control of your reel. Yep. You know, we've all, but once you put that in your hand, you cast with it and you actually land a fish on it, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking nice. about. Nice. Yeah. No, it's very cool. And then from a blank perspective, it's the same mojo blank same that we've blank. been using? Yep. Perfect. Yep. Got it. It is gorgeous in that like matte black. It looks yeah. really good. It really is. I mean, being sexy is half the battle, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, look at that thing. I would buy that. Yeah. That looks awesome. And that's the new handle. So that's a spinning grip. Again, your pinky's gonna go back here and then all your hands gonna be up here where the grip is. I love that, it's a big deal for me on a lot of rods. We're seeing more of them come from the back here with those Fuji type seats where the, the screw nut is not up at the top where your hand actually is. The comfort portion is up here, which is where you want it. But I've always said for the, for the price point of Mojo Bass, yeah. it's one of the best in the market. Yep, 100%. It's affordable, 
They're reliable, same warranty as the rest of them. And now you got an ultralight option, and then that's you got right. two bait finesse options. So that's a really big difference. 120 to 140 for what always has been a premium product, uh, designed and engineered by folks who really do make the best rods on earth. So very, very cool. Thank you, sir. All right, stop number two is actually Cashin. Now you guys have seen us fish the Cashin, uh, Cashin Icon bait finesse rods, but there's actually some new innovative products coming out from Cashin this year. And we've got Ben here to tell us a little, about, a little bit about the engineering and uh, what they're releasing this year. All right, guys. So this is what we're super excited for. This is the new Icon Salt Finesse. Um, this is in the new product showcase right here. iCast 2023, we got some really exciting updates on this one. Um, so what you can see, it comes standard with our Cashin signature, carbon fiber, fiberglass grips, high density foam, that's gonna help transmit that vibration. Um, and then we've got our CR6R blank on here. That's gonna be American source carbon fiber rolled right North Carolina. Um, proprietary epoxies, you can tell right there, that's made right in the US. This one pairs perfectly. We've got the Daiwa Coastal 80 right here. This is our salty Ned Rig model. This one's awesome for Ned Rigs, um, any single hook salty presentation. We saw the shrimp in the photo and I was like, yo! The Z-Man salty Ned shrimps on here is unlike anything else. And the one more thing I wanna show you, this is what we're super excited for. We've got a new hybrid gimbal butt here. So again, Carbon's sign or Cashin's signature carbon fiber fiberglass with that cross hash there. You can put that in the rod holder. Yeah, I was gonna, around, let I say, what is that? Cause this is, what this is what the standard looks like. This is the one I've got. That's what that looks like at the bottom. Yeah. So what is that actually doing for you? Cause you're talking about two guys who are from Michigan. Yeah. The amount of saltwater fishing right. I have done has been limited to 0, 0.0. So yeah. help me understand what this is. Super cool and it even transcends saltwater. So what you've got is in the saltwater, we got a lot of stand up rod holders. As you're going down, you don't want your stuff to be rattling all, hitting everything, getting in the way, smacking you in the back of the head. What you got right here is a lot of those rod holders will have a little cross hash in the bottom. This just fits directly in, keeps it nice and steady while you're running down, um, hitting hitting wakes. Um, Super smart. Just just keeps it where you need it to be. That way you can grab it when it's time to catch some fish. So. One thing I want to call it too is this is probably my favorite hook holder on almost any rod. Because it's so short and it's heavy duty, this is such a huge win for me. Easy well, uh, I got Jimmy over here is giving me the I agree. I can't, especially like I know like a lot of guys who do ultralight don't care nearly as much. For me, that is such a huge win. I, I love it for everything. Awesome. One more thing I want to point out too. We've got our Fuji K-Frame Tangle Free Guides on here. Premium guides. This is American made. Retail on these $234.95. Made right here in the U.S. And I need to call this out. So we get a lot of times, especially when we used to do fly fishing oh, yeah. uh, type content, people would say like, well, I can get the same one from like a Bass Pro for like 150 instead of 250. And it's like, no, totally understand that. And respect that for a lot of people. Yeah, that whatever. But when you're talking about made in America, uh, you're gonna pay a premium, but a lot of that is because you're gonna get people who are, uh, you're, you're paying for that product to be made in the USA from people who really know what they're doing to be engineered here in the USA. Those are some, uh, that's that's something you're going to pay for. When you get a product that's coming from overseas, oh, yeah. it's made and engineered there. It's not made and engineered here. And there is a cost premium for that. Uh, so you're getting an ultra premium rod that's made here in the USA at a price you can afford. That does mean quite a bit. Absolutely. And one more thing, even to bounce off of that, this, you know, Salt Finesse, this is our Icon series. What he's got, that's our Icon Bait Finesse series. These are carrying a lifetime rod replacement program too. So not only are you getting that premium American that. made, you're you're set from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now. I mean, you, you're covered. Yeah. And and I will tell you, the blanks, it does not show up on film. It, it doesn't, but these are some of the prettiest blanks out there. Like you can, it's like you can reach right into them. They are freaking gorgeous. So that's what you're getting from Cashin this year. You guys have seen us fish the bait finesse. I got to get the other one though, because I've got the light. I need to get the other one. That one looks freaking sweet. So Ben, thank you so much. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Jimmy, thanks for bringing us over here. Bait finesse, Empire, wherever you guys, they've already left us in the dust. All right, guys. Might be our last stop. There might be a secret stop that I might take you to, but we are at our, probably what I think the folks from Bay Finesse Empire have been most excited about. It's a reel and it's uh, presented by Arc, which I have actually not ever used an Arc reel. I know that they've had reels out there before, but I've never used an Arc reel. I've always been curious. You guys have heard me on the podcast. I've talked about it. Like I, I really want to try one, but I haven't. Arc is releasing a Bay Finesse reel this year. It's the Arc GBFS. Uh, this is the, uh, it's essentially, 
one of them, like their bait finesse reel, it's very focused on throwing your light line, your light lures and stuff as usual. Uh, the braking system is what I'm really excited about. So you have your magnetic resistance braking system you can change right here. External dial, we like that. Yeah, and then if you take it off, you can change that right there. Oh, whoa. The inside, and I'll, I'll bring that side plate here in the back in a minute, but you can actually change this. It comes in and out as your your yeah. system needs to be braked. The reason that's for bait finesse is as the reel is spinning, you want it to apply a different amount of mag force depending on how fast the lure is going. So it's going faster right when it leaves, so that's when you want the more braking and less as it goes uh, at the end of the cast. So when you get a more even brake applied, you're actually getting more of that, uh, the ability to throw something lighter and get an equal amount of braking across the whole spectrum of your cast. Yeah, and another, so the side plate, I'll show you something really quick. So we have our magnets on the inside. So we have the magnets influencing a magnetic resistance there alongside with how much resistance and how much settings you have on the side of this. So I was actually looking at this right here. So um, do you see the numbers right there? Take, take a closer look. Yeah. So what they want you to do is you're able to change that. So it actually goes whether in closer mm -hmm. or uh, away from the brakes. So depending on the way to lure, the techniques you're using, sometimes you need uh, more brakes, sometimes you don't. Some uh, folks have better thumbing, some people don't. So it actually caters to a lot of folks. So that, that makes it really, really exciting. And uh, the price yeah. point on this, remember what was the price point? You ready for us? $149.99 no is what way. they told us initially. And that was like, that blew my mind. Like kills a lot of the competition well, in certain ways. We do need first impressions. So honestly, first impressions, this doesn't feel like an aluminum reel to me, but it could be. It feels like graphite, or uh, it feels like graphite, but I'm not sure. I'm just not sure about the frame. Uh, it looks really good. It's got an offset grip here, so when you're gripping this way, you can see how it's in line with your thumb. That's something that if you're seeing on a couple of reels, really the Pure Fishing's launching some of those. I do love these grips. This is like a new grip material that I've been seeing more and more often. Uh, it's actually like a softer plastic. It's like the upgraded version of what Shimano usually uses on their reels, so I really like that. Um, the price point at 150 would be hard to beat, even at a graphite or some kind of composite. I still think that's hard to beat. The fact that Arc did a rod to go with this, I think is awesome. I've never heard of this rod, so I don't know if it's new or not, but I will tell you this, I've not heard of it. So if it is new, it's really gorgeous. I prefer a split grip, but I'll say, this thing is really light in hand considering it's a full court grip. This is way better executed than a lot of other BFS reels. So they took what other people are doing. They went their own way, it seems like, and I gotta say, uh, this makes me want to go get another arc reel, like a regular bass fishing reel, if they did this well and everything else. If you guys ask me, the most exciting BFS thing that came out in iCast 2023, this reel right here. And that's the guy who knows reels. I think we got to talk to the guys at Arc. I think we got to bring them over here. All right, you guys, so we got who we know is going to have all the details on this new launch from Arc. This is Louis, the, actually the owner of Arc, and he's going to walk us through. I asked about the bait caster. I know that's why we're excited, but I'm going to ask him some details about the rod as sure. well. Yes, actually, this is our new uh, Gravity BFS reel. Um, as everyone can see, this reel has... Uh, that, that is a 28 millimeter uh, spool. Mm. It weighs only 5.4 gram. Oh, um, and the whole reel itself weighs uh, 5.1 ounce. As far as castability, this one can cast um, as light as 0 0.8 gram. Wow. <laughs> so if you put, basically if you put a two pound test line on it mm -hmm. and with like a light or ultra light rod, you can probably just cast a, just a barely hook. Yeah. That's unreal. Yep. So what uh, questions that we had. Can you talk, tell us about the engineering behind the uh, um, the mag system? So if you take this off and I see that there's that red plate inside there, can you help us understand how that mag system is working? Sure, yeah. Um, actually, um, this is our gravity uh, control system. That's our new um, uh, brake system, which it came out last year. Is that in your regular rods too? Because I think you have two uh, regular casting rods, and they both have the gravity system as well. Yes, yes. Ah, got we it. have, we yeah, we have actually four different reels, uh, um, but two of them having the, the, this system. Got it. What it does is, it, you know, you have three different adjustments inside. Um, it's, it, you know, it took um, our team over here and overseas about two and a half years to develop this system. What it does is, like, you can adjust the, the position of this rotor so it go into the magnetic field. Closer or yeah, further Yeah, closer, away. Or, closer or, or further or closer, you mm -hmm. know. And this two bars over here, it's self-adaptive. This is actually not fixed. It, it's Moves. movable. You know, so when the wow. when the spool spins, this thing can move closer or further away from the rotor. 
And that's how you get that uh, more even magnetic breaking across, depending on how fast the spool is spinning. Yes, correct. Got it. 100%. That's amazing. Very cool. And how do you actually make the adjustment? So you got the one, two, and three. How do you actually adjust it? Well, if you push down, there will be a pin oh, on it. Oh. Then you can go. If you're putting three, that's the maximum um, break. If you're putting two, that's in the middle. But if you're putting one, that's the minimum. I love it. That's, that's so smart. So that, that makes your uh, adjustments here uh, three times more effective than they were before because you can adjust within each one of those settings as well. Yes, yes. And uh, the, uh, the other thing is if we can make, a, if we want to make a new spool uh, with different settings, yeah. I mean, then we can achieve different castability or yeah. different break. Yep. Um, it's so easy. You don't have to touch anything. You just put a new spool in. It's going to be a completely different. I can't, for, so for $150, right, that's the price yes. point, you're getting a hyper amount of adjustment ability within a really small package. My last question for you is, uh, what is the frame? Is it a composite frame? Is it an aluminum frame? It's a carbon fiber frame. Carbon fiber yeah, frame. Yeah, only for this BFS wheel. Got it. Yeah, everything else is aluminum. Aluminum. Okay. You gotta tell me about this rod. So I know this is not new. I think you've had this out for a year now. Yes, um, this is actually not, um, like a typical bay finesse yeah, rod. Yep. Um, this is just our lightest rod in the series. Yep. It's a medium light uh, power, mm -hmm. regular action. Basically, it's kind of in between moderate fast and fast. Got it. So I was I gonna would... ask you what regular meant. I was like, I don't know what that means. And then uh, what real seat is this? Cause I love the screw down here, but what is the real seat? This is our own design real seat, yeah. but this is generation one. And we have the new generation this year. It's even lighter. Than All right, can we can we go look at that? Sure, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Look how much meat we took off it. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, it's much lighter than the first generation. This is our new generation of the reels. The split grip is. Uh, I I just got to say, this one's for me. I really love yeah. that grip. That is awesome. Thank you. So what's the so what is the invoker? Yeah, so what is the uh, what's the price point on on either one of these? Uh, the invoker tour series is new for this year. Yep. The retail price is one fifty nine ninety nine. Not bad. Yeah, compared to the old one, this is up to fifteen percent lighter. That's unreal. Compared to last generation. I mean, and I gotta say, I gotta tell you, just from my perspective, it's my favorite kind of hook keeper. So well done. All right, now I promise I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Thank buddy. you very much. Appreciate Congratulations. It. All right, thank yeah. you. Yeah, they do. Oh my God, they have so many freaking models. They're both ninety bucks. Oh, bro. All right, y'all, we lost the folks from Bait Finesse Empire, but I wanna say before I get into the last part, thanks to them for lending us their expertise. We're still getting into Bait Finesse. It's still something that's very new to us. All right, we are being aggressively average, and what we do is we get uh, into new things, and we try and learn, and we try and share the information with you. So as we get into Bait Finesse, they've been a huge help for us, so thanks to them for the expertise. But we do have one more thing to show you. This is uh, Cast King's uh, Kestrel rod. So we've had the reel, you've seen the reel, uh, the bait finesse reel. They are making a line of light and ultra light rods, both spinning and casting. Casting. These are both $90 retail. They look unbelievable. This is their feather light. Unreal. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that or not, but written inside of these, uh, you know, acrylic here is that actually horizontally uh, what the rod is, but they have light, medium light, they have all different types. This one is for bait finesse specifically, but look at this reel seat. Unbelievably good looking reel seat, super sensitive. You get the nice lock nut there. You get all of your lure ratings right here. It's super nice for 90 bucks. It's really hard to imagine this being beat. Now the feather light, which is what I'm holding, is really that super ultra light, which is like, I think, what's the rating on this? 164th to 1 8th. That's an insanely low rating. So I love that, but it does come in a spinning rod as well. So I really want to test some of these out this year. Uh, and the, this is a two piece. So you're getting the extra long ferrule on that. Check that out. Now, again, if you think about fly fishing rods, uh, you've got some 10 foot rods who are whipping these back and forth all the time and these never come out. I personally really prefer a two piece rod. It gives you a lot of options and they are really quality. Uh, another cool option from Cast King uh, that really rounds out what we've seen this year for bait finesse. So you saw some of the really high end stuff. You saw some of the more low end stuff. And that's what this show is all about. It's about where are we going to see the innovation? What are people thinking about? We've seen some really cool braking systems. We saw rods, we saw reels, we talked to BFE. Great folks. Thanks for checking this video out. If you haven't already, let me know. Let us know what you are excited about from bait finesse perspective what was your favorite product and did we miss anything that we need to go check out thank you all for checking out this video hope you guys have an awesome day and we'll catch you on the next video